Hello once again, I'm exploring my house. It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. <laughs> I do hope you've been up front with me about really owning it. I don't want to be at the mercy of that wretched Dougal. It's nice to be here, though. To feel like an Amel again. I'm going to make the name Hawk one to be proud of in this city. I don't doubt it. Your father would have said that with that exact look, too. <laughs> I just wish we could all be together as a family one more time. I visited Bethany at the Circle. She seems happy enough. Mm. I guess I just need to start finding you a suitable wife. I can do that myself, thank you very much. I've been wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. <laughs> but perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you. You've been through a lot. You deserve any joy you can find. Yeah, bless her. Thank you, love. No one could ever replace your father. But it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age. <laughs> The Reinhardt's second daughter is very interested in meeting you. That is. I like the doggy. Rav, rav, rav. Okay. Rav, 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 rav. Hey, looks like they're having a nice chat. Maybe Sandal picked up some Mabari speak from our time at the hero of Ferelden's camp. Maybe. If you need any enchantments, I'm sure my boy would be happy to help. Uh. Enchantment! I can make it for you. Alright. mother's room. I shouldn't intrude. If I read this, click pause. Boom, boom, boom. This is my room. My boudoir. Lots of old things from Lothering in there. Poor Prince. I told him to stay off the bed. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Anders Manifesto. Again. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, okay, can I my party back now? Um, I'll have there and there and there. Okay, let's go and speak to Sebastian. She's leveled up as well. Cunning. With health. Yeah. Miss Bella issues an irresistible challenge to a single foe. Okay. Another one. Um, Miss Bella appears to be heavy bird ones. That's cool. So I said the would be lovely. What makes this relic of yours so valuable? The same thing that makes anything valuable. Someone's willing to pay for it. That's not evasive. Look, I didn't get where I am by showing my hand, you know. <laughs> no, your hand isn't what I hear you've been showing. Evil Tom. Cool. The 
Mark offers power in exchange for a promise to leave it alone afterwards. Okay. Free level up and a free back. Oh, it's just points. Okay, it's not so good. Um, that and that. Okay, two points is nice anyway, I suppose. Um, let's talk to Sebastian then. So I can put on my Scottish accent again. I'll try. I thought it would end here. Young Master Hawk destroyed Flint Company. None remain. Yet, now that I know who sent them, it's harder to see their deaths as justice. Death is never justice. Wise words. By... Hawk? We were just talking about you. I know, I heard you. Carry on. I love to eavesdrop. <laughs> I'd rather talk directly, if you don't mind. Carry on. I've learned who hired Flint Company. The Harrimans, a noble family of Kirkwall. Ask them. They were my parents' allies. It's hard to believe they betrayed us like this. Sounds like what happened in Origins to me. I think I've met Lord Harriman. Lord Harriman used to be a good man, but he became rather strange in his dotage. He died some years back. Oh. His daughter took over the family, Lady Johane Harriman. They say she's become quite reclusive of late. Okay. Any idea why they turned on you? Money. Power. It's hard to say. Lady Harriman was always jealous of my family for being royalty when hers were mere nobility. Mm. But I can't imagine that pushing her into outright murder. Okay. Is there any peaceful way to resolve this? If you treat the Harrimans like those mercenaries, you could start a war. Go carefully, Sebastian. She's very wise. I must speak with Lady Harriman and find out what drove her to this madness. All right. But I am the last of my line. I should not go alone and make myself a target. Come with me. If I'm standing beside you, that should make her think twice. <laughs> that sounds Again, bad. your interest in my plight humbles me. If you like, I can travel with you until you confront Lady Harriman. Otherwise, you can always find me here in the Chantry. Come with me. Okay, let's get rid of Meryl. Okay, we love her and him and Anders. God. Sebastian creates an ethereal personal decoy that keeps enemies occupied for a short time while he escapes. Every basic shot that fires rapid succession in the short period increases chance to score critical hit. Yes, yes. Sebastian's arrow wounds the target causing to suffer increased damage. Sebastian completes the combo build. A righteous chain, every basic shot he fired immediately prior to using our judgment increases damage affected by breaking the chain. <sighs> Christ. Okay. There's a lot of good skills there. Um, archery. The arrow explodes impact, rain arrows, archers lance. Tactics, range scrapper, yes. Maintenance.
Any skills I'm missing? Pin and shell, tail of arrows. Archer's lands. That's all there. Except Guardian Angel. I don't know what that is. What's Guardian Angel? Surrounded by, if you're surrounded by at least two enemies, use Guardian Angel. Top. Okay. Potion read. Boom, 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 boom. Big bug. I cannot fault Sebastian for wanting to know why an old ally would turn against his parents. Yeah, I can't blame him. But I fear he's too impetuous. He may do something he regrets. Please, go with him. Try to restrain him. If the Harrimans are guilty, they will receive justice from the Viscount. All right. Sebastian need not take their punishment into his own hands. What is the Chantry's stance on the Kunari presence here? Would it help anything for us to get involved? Or is it more likely to light the kindling? If the Kunari act against us, the Templars will defend Kirkwall. Otherwise, we guard ourselves best by waiting. Okay. How long have you been Grand Cleric? I became a lay sister here when I was only a girl. My parents died of fever, and I was taken in by the Chantry. Okay. Eventually, I took my vows. After I had served for some time, the revered mothers agreed that I should travel to Orlay. The Divine herself appointed me Grand Cleric of Kirkwall. That was near 30 years ago. Cool. You knew my grandparents? I dedicated your mother into the Chantry. She was a beautiful baby. Your grandmother was a very proper lady, but she was beside herself that day. And your mother put a fist in my eye. <laughs> I'd always welcome your benediction. Andraste, guide your steps in this difficult time. Thank you. Um. Hello again, Hawk. Hi. Your grandpa. When I was a girl, the Amels were one of our most prominent families. I'm glad to have one of their line in the estate again. How can I help you? Are you intending to stay neutral about the Kunari and mages forever? The Maker's time is not men's time. We do not need to rush. <laughs> I'll have to remember that line the next time I'm late. <laughs> the Chantry is not a domineering father with the whip always in hand. She is a gentle mother who knows her children learn best when allowed to learn themselves. Good method. Alright, let's get out of this place because it's... Give me strength. Level up, you get three points. Two, three points into strength, then. Oh my god, so many quests. Um, side quests, get my life, companions. Let's go and talk to Fenris. So many quests. I'm not going to end this video. In the next video, I'm going to kill these people because they bang to ambush me. I'm to keep on top right to watch the next video. If you could subscribe, you can subscribe. I appreciate them. Goodbye.